Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mark with Eternal Lighting. We're looking at the Echo Mate and Cube Echo MK2s, but something's a little bit different about these. These are the WDMX made in Sweden wireless solutions, wireless DMX receivers built into these. You can tell from the antenna here and also by the buttons that are being used here for the WDMX connection. The regular open source wireless DMX is on this side. So when you order it with WDMX, you'll use these buttons. Same thing with the Cube Echoes. You'll notice that there's some buttons here that have been removed. And what we've done is we've installed the WDMX Cube Echo, uh, I'm sorry, the WDMX transmitter receiver boards from Wireless Solutions. So what I'm going to show you guys is how easy it is to connect the Echo Mate that has WDMX in it to the Cube Echo MK2s. There's a button right here and there's a button right here. This one needs to be sprung in and where you can click it in and out, and it needs to be in. The second one, we hold it down for one second. I'll try to do that in one shot here. And then once you press it in, you'll see these IDs blink, and that means they're connected. There we go. You see them blinking, they're connected. And now what we're gonna use is the IR remote to control the Cube Echo MK2s. So the IR remote is communicating with the Echo Mate and the Echo Mate is transmitting WDMX to all of the other Cube Echo MK2s. The Echo Mate will transmit up to 1,000 feet line of sight with the WDMX from Wireless Solutions board installed into the Echo Mate. In the next clip, we're going to show you how to use the Echo Mate as a battery powered wireless DMX transmitter with WDMX connected to a DMX board. All right, now in this clip, what we're going to do is show you guys how to use the Echo Mate, which does have the Wireless Solutions WDMX receiver built into it. And we're connecting it with a DMX cable to a basic DMX controller. Basically, the same principle. The only difference is you want to set the Echo Mate as a slave because it will be getting its signal from the DMX board. Run a DMX cable into the DMX input. And the same thing, you press the button for one second to connect to all the cube echoes. Here we go, one second, 1001, let go. They're blinking. And now this DMX board is connected. You can see you can control it with the faders moving up and down to control the Cube Echo MK2s with the Echo Mate. A lot of people don't realize that the Echo Mate is also simply a battery powered wireless DMX transmitter. This one happens to have the WDMX built into it. If you have any questions, reach out to us. Thank you for watching. And remember, lighting makes all the difference.